right, welcome to uh, Super Tuesday 2. All right, hopefully, if you're a Missouri resident, you went out and voted. You know, if you don't vote, you can't complain. And even if you do vote, you're going to complain because everybody knows who's going to win. <laughs> all right, so today it's all about tactics. All right. Before I won the uh, 1998 Missouri Scholastic State Championship, I went to a chess camp that summer to get really good. And they only taught me one thing, study tactics, tactics, tactics. So that's all you need, tactics, tactics, tactics. So here we go. We'll be going over some uh, tactics puzzle this, uh, this week, probably about 10 of them. So you know, if you don't have the answer yet, just pause the tape because we'll be going through these as fast as we can. Okay, so let's check out this tactic. And this tactic, it is white to move. As you notice, he's one away from queening. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if that pawn's supposed to be right here. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that would have been an easy tactic. Just promote the pawn. All right, all right. We got some uh, Steelers fans here today. That was a good game. You, you crushed uh, Cincinnati, wiped them out of the playoffs. So that was very exciting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was more like a Cincinnati meltdown. Who could have ever saw that happening? All right. So yeah, if you bet on the bunglers, you get what you deserve. Not like me. All right. So all right. So in this position. It is white to move and win. Notice the pawn is now on the F file. Darn. <laughs> and the bishop is blocking the pivotal F8 queening square. So what could white possibly do? Oh, oh, we got a battle. We got a battle between the two. All right. Well, he actually had his hand up first. Bishop to D4. And unfortunately, the bishop is pinned. He cannot retreat to the queening <laughs> square. That's why in chess, you always want to be on the queening square, whether it's a rook, knight, bishop, you know, just guarding that queen square. You don't want to be out where you could potentially get pinned or captured. So, okay, so that was pretty easy. So the game would have concluded bishop takes, queen, and then probably in 20 moves, if black was smart, he'd keep his bishop close to his king so they didn't get forked. But, you know, white's going to win. All right, so we'll go to the next puzzle here, if we can find it. So it's another easy puzzle. <laughs> All right, so it's white to move in this position. Notice a lot of tactics are just, you know, you got the rook on the same line, discovered attacks. That's why it's really important all the time to look what's on the same file, the same rank. That's why I really encourage all my players to do when it's not their turn. Instead of calculating, oh my god, what if he goes there? What if he goes there? And it's like, dude, you have no idea what he's going to play, okay? So instead of doing that, just look at what's on like the same line. Okay, my B pawn's in a pin, all right? Uh, you know, my rook is on the same line as that bishop. That's pretty cool. Okay, his rook is on a dark square. That's pretty cool. And I got a dark square bishop. All right, so does anybody have the answer yet? All right. Bishop C7 is the correct answer. I showed this to a kid. He's like, I don't care, just, just attack the rook. It doesn't matter. But there's a big difference whether you go to c5 or c7. If you go to c7, you know, oh my god, my rook's attacked and my bishop is attacked. Then my rook has no way to protect the bishop. So I move there, I take. It's like, okay, no big deal. Your bishop's in a pin. I'm just going to go over and attack your rook. So you can oh, just protect your uh, rook, you know, and then play bishop there. Okay, but as you notice, if you play uh, bishop to c5, he could retreat the rook. And guess what? The bishop is protected. 
All right, very good. We'll go to another easy puzzle. Now this has a couple, uh, couple answers people might be thinking about. So maybe it's a little trickier. Can anybody tell me, just right off the bat for white, just right off the bat, how many checks does white have in this position? How many? Eight. He's so good. He's got eight checks, OK? So you notice every, every bishop move is a check. So you have a lot of different, uh, different choices, OK? But which one of the eight is the best? Oh, we got some hands. We got some dueling hands. All right. D6. D6. Because it's double check. Is that the only reason? No. Well, it's double check when you win the bishop afterwards. Right. Yeah. You basically want to get the bishop, right? OK. So you really want to get that bishop. Another try would be bishop here check. But then, you know, he still has a piece and this dangerous pass pawn. Yes? Um, instead of the king taking the bishop, can the bishop take the e3 pawn? So, so, so no, a lot of times I would just instantly shout out, no, no. But it might be good because of this passed pawn. So bishop takes, but then I'm going to say no, because I'm just going to take this pawn. And then when you push, I'm going to go bishop to c3. And then you're out of luck. And now you have absolutely <coughs> no hope. Got it? No hope. And you want hope. So, so you'd much rather in this position when he takes to take back okay even though he can get out of this now like check per, or protect you know at least you still have hope okay you still have a, a minor piece you're down in exchange but you got this powerful b pawn so you still have some hope and some life okay does that make sense All right, in this position, we'll flip the board because it's actually black to move. Once again, in this position, black has many, many checks. And here's the man of the hour, Sunderum. <laughs> hey, Sunderum, I have to take a front row center right up here. Yeah, front row center. Push it up. <laughs> All right, so Sunderum's here. So. It's a lot of fun, okay? We'll try to let Sunderum get this, uh, this one, okay? So in this position, it's black to move. Let me ask you something, Sunderum. Which piece would you move to deliver a check in this position? <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> it's black to move. Yeah, yeah, I prefer the rook. To, yeah, okay. So, so anywhere the rook goes, it's going to be check. Yeah, it's mate. Excellent. Excellent. Cuz it's double check mate. Right? Cuz he can't can't move there. Can't move there. Can't take the rook cuz the other guy's delivering the check. Excellent. Once again, my my student, he wanted to take the bishop and then it's not good for him. So, so got to be precise. So good job there, Sundaram, getting the correct answer. So double checks are good, as you saw. All right, so now we're back to white to move. All right, so this one's a little trickier. And if you're not careful, you're going to get checkmated. Oh, but he's got it right off the bat. All right, yes. 
Queen takes pawn check. Queen takes pawn check, yeah. Yeah, that's why as silly as all these uh, positions look, checks and captures, you've got to analyze each and every one. Because queen takes pawn, check is the correct answer, because after king takes, you get this beautiful knight fork. And you get to check them again. And then you can just, just win. You know, get your king up, and you'll be fine. Okay? But, but if you try something cooler, which isn't cooler, if you try like, I'm just going to threaten both the queen and checkmate, you're out. You're out. Okay? You got a big L. Okay? You're out. Okay? So, got to be careful. All right. Sunderham, this one's right up your alley, okay? <laughs> In this position, it is black to move. <laughs> I prefer it to, yeah. <laughs> Check, king moves. Oh, I got your bishop. Uh oh, is your knight going to get captured? That's the big. That's the big trick. Is your knight going to get captured here? Anybody see a way to save the knight? <laughs> see if Danny Machuca can figure it out. What move would you play as black here? You got any, any hope? <coughs> It's a puzzler. It's a puzzler. How about we just say, forget it. You want the knight so bad? I'll let you have it. Let's not try let's try not to lose this, okay? <laughs> Don't push it. Now what start what move do we slam here? G3. Yeah, G6. G6. And that's like get out of here. Love it. All right. So here we go. Got a few more. All right. This one's a real thinker. It's uh white to move here. Oh, this guy he he, he knows it right away. He's so good. He's so good. He's a whiz kid, this guy. What's your chess rating? Uh, 14. 14. That's what I would have guessed, even though I don't even know who you are. OK, here we go. So, so, so what, what's the solution? Yeah, well. All right, so this is the position. So, so as we see, when you do a discovered checks, the most powerful double checks have been the, the most powerful discovered checks have been double checks. Okay. okay. You, 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 want to, you want to say exactly what he said? Okay, go for it. Oh! So knight d6 just doesn't get the job done, unfortunately, because um, you can retreat here, and now you see you're out of checks under him, and I got this big, big queen. So when you play knight to c5 check, okay, the king only has one legal move because he's in double check. <coughs> Whenever the king is in double check, the king has to move, right? You can't block two checks at once, and you can't, uh, can't take two pieces at once and blah, 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 right? Also, notice that all of these double checks have all been discovered checks. A double check has to be a discovered check. Now, don't even ask me if there can be triple checks. Okay? So, when the king goes to b8, what happens? Now, oh, as the 1400 said, knight a6 checkmate. Okay? So, unfortunately, this rook is in the king's way and he can't, can't take it as is this pawn. All right, and this one, would you rather have it to be white to move or black to move? Black. 
Why is that not checkmate? Mm -hmm. Our rook can block it. Or take with the rook. Take with the rook and it's checkmate. What happens if you were to be silly and take with the queen? Yeah. Now do you have a checkmate still? No. It's a 1400, he sees checkmate. <laughs> what is it? Queen to d8, checkmate. You see that? You're attacking his flight square. All right. And so it's over. All right, but let's just say, darn. We're black in this position. Are we just out of luck? Or he sees it. Queen takes, uh, bishop check. Queen takes bishop check. Seems like suicide. Seems like suicide. C8. C8. No, <laughs> yeah. Work the C8 mate, right? Yeah, be, <laughs> be made for uh, for white. <laughs> Rick C8 mate. Yep. So. When, when, you're, when you're in desperate situations, like, oh my god, he's got so many checkmates coming in, it's when you have to do desperate things and be crazy sometimes. All right, we saved the toughest one for last. Black the move. Pretty tough puzzle, pretty tough. Danny's head, scratching his head back there. Claudio's just crying. He's just, oh, I can't find it out. <laughs> Can we figure it out? Mm, Sunder, I'm still thinking. He's got his. Um, yes, yes. Keith, does Keith have it yet? It's tough. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough one. Let's wait for everybody to try to figure this one out. Oh, you got it? All right, well, here it comes. Bishop E5. Bishop E5. Is that what you're going to say, Danny? <laughs> sure. Bishop E5. Danny was probably going to sack the rook and be like, I got a pawn. I got your pawn. I got your pawn. <laughs> but the problem is I got these pawns. And then you're going to get crushed. Danny. All right, so, so as Sundaram suggested, bishop e5 threatens both the rook and the checkmate. Hmm. So let's get our knight out. Yep, I stopped the checkmate. Um. Yeah. <laughs> now what? Uh, just take the work. Yeah, just take the work. I like it. Good. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to win this. All right. So those were the tactic puzzles. Now I'm going to show some, uh, some really easy uh, king and pawn endgames and uh, rook and pawn endgames, OK? All right. So we have this position. White is going forward, OK? The notation is correct. OK. So. So if I was playing Sunderum, I think I could probably win this game. OK? It's white, obviously. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So king over, which move should black play here? All right, million from Pittsburgh. King c7. OK, so the trick to drawing this position is to always, when you have to move backwards, right? Always move to the queening file. Got it? Whenever you have to move backwards, just stay on the queening file, and you'll have no problems. Right now, you don't have to move backwards, right? Anybody forcing you to move backwards? No, so don't move backwards, OK? Never let up your ground. If you move backwards, he's just going to take the opposition and crush you. OK, got it. So, so in this position, OK, so you don't want to 
let your ground up. So what do you think you want to do? You want to seize the opposition. So you want to go to d7. OK? And then if check, where do you think we want to go? C7? OK, C7. But I, I get you. <laughs> so OK, we're on C7. So now we have a position that we've seen before, except the pawn's a little bit closer, right? So what move should we make here? Yes, 1,400. King C8, staying on the queening file. And now he's like, hmm, I think I'm going to go the other way now. Maybe you don't know what to do. So we only have two legal moves here. Do we want to go to B8 or D8? B8, yeah, yeah, B8. That's the place to be. And now I'm going to try to trick you. Instead of checking you, I'm just going to just come down here. Now what move do we want to make? How about we get as close to the pawn as possible, OK? And then king moves. Now, it's tricky, tricky. We have not seen this type of position before. Oh, D6, <laughs> we just lost the game. We just lost the game. Because, because <laughs> yeah, King B6. I knew, I knew I had confidence I would beat you, all right? So, so you see how, how, we, how we play King B6? Now you're not behind me blocking me anymore. Now we're level, and now you have no place to go. You can go over here. Then I'm coming up. You can go and then check and then queen and I win. All right, moment of truth, Sunderum. Where do you want to go? Because if we go forward, we lose. We never want to go, all right, and now as we know, we never want to go forward in these. Uh, well, that's not necessarily true. We, all, we never want to be uh, on the same rank as the pawn. We either want to be one rank in front of it, like threatening it, or just one behind it. And when we have to go two ranks behind it, which square do we want to be on? The same square as the queening file. <laughs> so what's that magic square then? B8. B8, and then it's over. <coughs> And then I can push, and now, uh-oh. So if we want to, so let me ask you this question, Sunderim. Which file is the queening file? That's the first thing you should ask yourself when you have these pawn endgames. You should say, hmm, which file is the pawn on? C file. OK, so you always will know C file and then the C file is the queening file, OK? So, so now you know where, whenever you retreat, where do you want to go? Which file? The C8, right, the C file. All right? And then I come up, and now where do we want to go? We can go to B8, which is close to the king, or D8, which is away from the king. B8, excellent. And then when I come back here to C5, where do we want to go? C7. Yeah, C7. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> and now you go this way. Now we have to retreat. So where do we want to go? C8. C8. Excellent. And now we go up. Where do we want to go? B8 or D8? Which one? B8. B8? Away from the king? I know you said B8. And you see how B8 is away from the king? Okay, yeah, D8. All right. All right. So now I'm going away from you. Do you want to follow me or do you want to attack the pawn? Yeah, because if we, if we go too far away, uh-oh. So good. Yeah, get close to the pawn as possible. Yeah, good. Get close to the pawn as possible, right? And now, now we go back to C8, right? And he comes up. D8. 
D8, right? And now it gives us a big check. So where do we want to go here? Moment of truth. C8. C8, excellent. And so now he's like, oh man, if I go to C, C6, this is going to be a stalemate, right? So he's got one last trick. He goes to E7. And this is a legitimate trick here. Take the pawn, good. Because if you don't take the pawn, you lose. So you always have that one last trick up this sleeve, OK? All right, so let's, let's see another. Uh, so, so just want to do a quick recap here. All right, so if we start with this position, if it's black to move, remember, we retreat to the queening square. Or if so if we have this position, we retreat to the queening square, goes here. Go into opposition, check, go back to the queen and square, still. Okay, cool. All right, well, I think we've learned enough for today. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>